You know, I've been thinking a lot about how many of us have these entrepreneurial sparks inside us, waiting to ignite. Well, today's the day we fan those flames. I'm super excited to share something special with you. Hold on to your seats, because we are about to dive deep into 10 mind-blowing small business ideas, each costing less than $100 to start. Yes, you heard it right, under $100. It's all about making the most out of the least. And I can't wait to embark on this journey with you. So, are you ready to explore these game-changing ideas? Let's roll up our sleeves and dive right in. Let the adventure begin. All right, let's jump into our first exciting business idea, freelance writing. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is freelance writing? Great question. Imagine being able to write about your passions, interests, or sharing your expertise on various topics, all while getting paid for it. That's freelance writing for you. A world where your words can turn into your income. But where do you begin? Well, the digital world has blessed us with some fantastic platforms. We're talking about sites like Upwork, Fiverr, and Freelancer. These are like launching pads for your writing career. You can sign up, create a profile, and boom, you're in the game. Now, here's a pro tip. When creating your profile, think of it as your virtual storefront. You want it to be inviting, right? So showcase your skills, add a touch of your personality, and don't forget to include some of your best work in your portfolio. This is your chance to shine and attract those clients. And speaking of clients, remember the old saying, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. Building a network is key in the freelance world. Engage with other writers, join writing groups, and don't shy away from asking for referrals. Word of mouth is a powerful tool in this industry. Before we move on to our next idea, let me leave you with some inspiration. I've seen many individuals start from scratch and grow into successful freelance writers, earning more than they ever did in their 9-to-5 jobs. Their secret, persistence, quality work, and the courage to start. So if you've got a flair for writing, this could be your golden ticket. Moving on to our next idea, and this one's as sparkling as it sounds, home cleaning services. Now hear me out. This isn't just about mops and brooms. It's about creating a clean and comfortable space for people, which is always in demand. And guess what? The startup cost is surprisingly low. A few cleaning supplies, some elbow grease, and you're ready to shine. So who could be your clients? Well, the possibilities are vast. We're talking about busy homeowners, small offices, local shops, basically, anyone who wants to keep their space neat but doesn't have the time or inclination to do it themselves. And trust me, there are plenty of them out there. Now, how do you reach these potential clients? Let's get creative. Hand out flyers in your neighborhood or local community centers. Get involved in local online groups. These can be gold mines for finding your first few clients. And don't underestimate the power of good old word of mouth. Do a great job, and your clients will do the marketing for you. One crucial thing to remember, in this business, your reputation is everything. Being reliable, punctual, and trustworthy are the cornerstones of a successful cleaning service. People are letting you into their personal spaces, so they need to trust you. To wrap up this idea, let me tell you about Maria. She started her cleaning service with just a bucket and some cleaning supplies. Through hard work and building trust with her clients, she now runs a successful team of cleaners and has clients all over the city. If Maria can do it, why not you? Have you ever thought about how many people dread grocery shopping, or those who, for various reasons, can't do it themselves? That's where our next brilliant business idea comes in, personal shopping. Imagine helping someone by picking up their groceries and essentials. Not only is it a huge help to them, but it's also a fantastic way to earn an income. Getting started is as simple as it gets. The main costs, well, it's mostly just your transportation. If you have a vehicle, great. If not, a local transit pass can do the trick. And consider a membership at a wholesale store. It can save money for your clients and enhance your service. Now, finding clients might seem challenging, but it's easier than you think. Utilize the power of social media. A post in a local group can go a long way. Don't underestimate the effectiveness of local ads, either. And of course, word of mouth referrals are golden. Do a great job for one person, and they're likely to tell their friends. When it comes to providing excellent service, it's all about attention to detail. 
be punctual, understand your clients' preferences, and always handle their items with care. Building a loyal client base is about creating trust and showing that you truly care about their needs. Let me tell you about Alex. He started with a simple idea of shopping for a few neighbors. Through consistent service and building relationships, he now runs a personal shopping business with a growing list of regular clients. Alex's story is a testament to how a simple idea, executed well, can grow into something amazing. Ever been told you have a knack for explaining things? Or maybe you're passionate about a subject, music, or even a hobby? Well, guess what? You can turn that skill into a business through tutoring. Tutoring isn't just limited to academic subjects. It can be about anything you're knowledgeable and passionate about, from math to guitar lessons, or even knitting. And here's the best part. You can start this business virtually, which slashes your startup costs. No need for a physical space. You can teach from the comfort of your home. All you need is a stable internet connection and a computer or tablet. As for platforms, there's a whole world out there. Websites like Tutor.com or even Zoom for video calls can be your classroom. And don't forget about promoting your services locally. A simple flyer at local community centers or a post on your neighborhood's Facebook group can attract students right in your community. Remember, successful tutoring is built on patience, in-depth knowledge, and effective teaching skills. It's about making learning enjoyable and accessible. So if you've got the drive to teach, you're already halfway there. To inspire you, let me share a story about Sarah. She started tutoring high school math online just to make some extra cash. Her unique way of simplifying complex problems made her quite popular. Fast forward a year, and she's now a full-time tutor, helping students across the country ace their math exams. Sarah's journey shows how sharing your knowledge can not only be fulfilling but also profitable. Okay, let's talk about something we all know and love, social media. Have you noticed how even the smallest businesses are trying to make their mark online? That's where our next idea, social media management, comes into the picture. It's all about helping businesses boost their online presence and connect with their audience. And let's be honest, who doesn't scroll through Instagram or Twitter these days? So, what does a social media manager do? Think of yourself as a digital storyteller. You're the voice of the business, crafting posts, engaging with followers, and building a community around the brand. It's creative, it's dynamic, and best of all, it's in high demand. Now, you might be wondering about the tools of the trade. Well, the good news is many of them are free. Platforms like Hootsuite, Canva, and Google Analytics can be your best friends. And there's plenty of online resources to sharpen your skills, from YouTube tutorials to free courses on Coursera. Getting started might seem daunting, but here's a tip. Start by building a portfolio. Manage a friend's business account or even your own personal brand. This is your showcase to potential clients. And remember, networking is key. Attend local business meetups, participate in online forums, and don't be shy to pitch your services. Let me leave you with this story about Jamie. He started by managing social media for a local bakery. His creative campaigns and engaging content doubled their online following in just a few months. Now he's running his own social media consultancy with multiple clients. Jamie's story is proof that with some creativity and hustle, the sky's the limit in social media management. Now let's tap into our creative side. Do you love making things with your hands? Be it knitting, pottery, painting, or crafting unique pieces of jewelry. Guess what? Your hobby can be your next business venture. Handmade crafts and art aren't just products. They're stories, emotions, and a piece of you. And there's a huge market out there for these personal, one-of-a-kind creations. So where do you sell these masterpieces? Online platforms like Etsy are a crafter's paradise. It's like opening your own digital shop but without the overhead costs of a physical store. And let's not forget the power of social media. Instagram and Pinterest are perfect for showcasing your art and attracting buyers. I've seen countless people turn their crafty hobbies into thriving businesses. Take Rachel, for example. She started by making handmade candles as a way to relax. She shared her creations on Instagram, and before she knew it, she was receiving orders from all over the country. When it comes to pricing, Consider the cost of materials, time, and don't forget to value your creativity. For packaging, think eco-friendly and attractive. 
and for shipping, research cost-effective methods to ensure your creations reach their new homes safely. Remember, every big brand started as a small idea. Your handmade crafts and art could be the next big thing. So, why not give it a shot? Who knows, I might just be featuring your success story in a future video. Who doesn't love pets, right? They're not just animals, they're family. But here's the thing. Our busy lives often mean we can't give them all the attention they deserve. This is where you as a pet sitter or dog walker step in. It's a business that's not just profitable, but also incredibly rewarding. Now let's talk startup costs. They're pretty minimal. A few leashes, some treats, maybe a couple of toys, and you're good to go. The real investment here is your love for animals and your commitment to their well-being. Finding clients can be as simple as spreading the word in your neighborhood or posting on local community boards. But here's a pro tip. Use social media to your advantage. Share cute pictures of your free clients, with their owner's permission, of course, to attract more attention. And don't forget platforms like Rover or WEG, where you can easily connect with pet owners. Remember, trust and responsibility are key in this business. You're taking care of someone's beloved pet, so showing that you're reliable and caring is crucial. Building a bond with both the pet and the owner goes a long way. Have you ever thought, hey, I've got something to say that the world might want to hear? Well, that's where blogging and vlogging come into play. Whether it's writing articles or creating videos, this is all about sharing your perspective, your knowledge, or even just your daily life with an audience that's interested in what you have to offer. Starting a blog or vlog doesn't have to be expensive. In fact, you can begin with just a smartphone or a basic camera. Yes, that device in your pocket right now could be your ticket to an exciting blogging or vlogging journey. It's more about your content and less about high-tech gear. Finding your niche is key. Are you into travel, cooking, tech, or maybe fitness? Choose a field you're passionate about. It shines through in your content. And remember, consistency is your best friend here. Regular, engaging content helps build and maintain an audience. Now, how do you turn your blog or vlog into a money maker? Think ads, affiliate marketing, sponsorships, and even your own merchandise. It takes time, but once your audience grows, these channels can turn into lucrative income streams. Picture this, lush green plants, vibrant flowers, and the satisfaction of nurturing nature. That's what gardening and plant care services are all about. In our concrete urban jungles, bringing a bit of green into homes and offices isn't just nice, it's necessary. And it's not just outdoor gardens. Indoor plants need love too. This is where your green thumb can turn into green cash. The best part, you don't need a truckload of money to start. A few basic gardening tools, some knowledge about plants, and you're all set. Whether it's pruning, potting, or just regular care, your services can be a lifesaver for plant lovers who lack the time or expertise. Now, how do you find these plant enthusiasts? Start local. Flyers in community centers, posts on neighborhood social media groups, and word-of-mouth referrals can work wonders. Don't forget to showcase your own garden or plants as a testament to your skills. Remember, gardening isn't just about aesthetics. It's therapeutic. It reduces stress and promotes mental well-being. Make sure to communicate these benefits to your potential clients. It's a great selling point. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. See you in the next video.